First I'm just taking a black pencil liner and I'm just going to use the width of the pencil itself to mark out the spots where I want the pencil to go through my neck and then I'm just going to use the eyeliner to do two little dashes on either side of my neck as a kind of guideline. And then I'm taking a Nose and Scar Wax by Ben Nye in a fair color to match my skin tone. And then you're just going to take a little bit, roll it up into a ball, and put it on one of the marks on your neck. Now this is just to test out where you want the wax to go later on, just seeing how it looks, and getting to know where the positioning you want it is. Now when you're using Scar Wax, make sure your fingers are moisturized so you can maneuver the wax and it's not going to stick to your fingers, it's just going to stay on your skin. And once you got your positioning done, I'm just taking a pencil, which I've broken the back end and the top end off, and then you're just going to take off the scar wax, and then I'm using a spirit gum by Ben Nine, and you're just going to put that in place where the scar wax was before, and then you're just going to want to dab the spirit gum until it gets tacky. Then you can get the scar wax and push one end of the pencil into the scar wax and stick it back onto your neck where the marker is. And then just again with some more moisturizer in your finger, you're just going to smooth out the edges and blend it into your skin. And then I'm taking a liquid le latex, also by Ben Nye, and you're just going to use that all around the edges. This is just going to help transition it into your skin and create more of a smooth, natural look. And then just using my fingers, I'm just blending that in and flattening it out further. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm just fanning off the liquid latex, waiting for it to dry. This latex does dry clear. And then I'm taking some dark blood and a Q-tip. And I'm just dipping in the Q-tip. And then I'm just going to dab it all around the wound's entrance and exit around the pencil. So you can basically do any kind of blood splatter shape and pattern you want. And then I'm just doing a few little streak marks to create a dripping kind of effect. And then also what I did on the pencil itself is I just did streaks of blood along the length and at the tip. This is just to create more of the effect that it's being pushed through the entire neck. So of course one end would definitely get bloody. And once you've done that, you're finished.